in my right leg, I can't bend it. Lucky to have my leg. I've got about a two and a half inch difference between my left leg and my right leg. It's like taking your knee out, your knee joints out. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Welcome to Hartung Family Farms. I'm heading out to the farm this morning to get the hay cart, take it down to Preston and get some feed for them. Usually once a week we try to give them ground corn along with a couple bales. Been feeding them twice a week. As you can see, there's a bunch of snow up here. Yeah, we're out to head to the farm. Cows are looking good. It's supposed to be close to 30, maybe even 32 all week. Chance of snow Tuesday through Saturday. But other than that, it's gonna be a nice day. I guess Ron said that there's a few questions out there. What happened to me in my right leg? I can't bend it. Uh, to give you a quick story that happened January 18th, 1986. So almost 34 years ago, I was in a bad car accident about three miles north of Bellevue. I was with four of my other buddies. There was five of us in a car. And like I said, it was January. It was about 40 degrees, slushy like it is. Uh, got the wheel over in the slush and it kind of sucked us over into a bridge and I ended up flying out of the car. I spent over 100 days in the hospital between Dubuque and Iowa City. Lots of major surgeries. Uh, lucky to be alive lucky to have my leg and here I am 34 years later uh, I got about a two and a half inch difference between my left leg and my right leg uh, so I gotta get special shoes built up like I said I can't bend it's like taking your knee out your knee joints out uh, fusing it together and that's how that turned out so I still play I'm still active I still officiate football basketball baseball softball um, so I have a lot of fun I enjoy life to the fullest as I can so it just slowed me down a little bit but, but like I said before we're gonna head out to the farm here once we get out there I'll let you know what we're doing out that way there so I'm gonna sign off for a few minutes here until we get out there where the cows are at don't forget to push that like button down there any comments Go ahead and comment and we'll get them answered for you. Thank you. Well, I'm back again. As you can see, we have a few cows out here. There's 46 of them. So, they're all grazing a little bit here. I gotta remove some snow here so I can get in here. I gotta get that hay cart out. Head to Preston, come back with some feed and make these cows happy. So, I'll get you here in a little bit. Well, you can see, the first step is done. I got the hay cart out of the field. Wasn't too bad, but we got cows that are hungry. So I gotta run to Preston, get some corn, two round bales, and we'll come back and feed these bad girls. So we'll be back probably about an hour. So until then, ta-ta for now. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe. Heart Tongue Family Farms, we'll talk to you about an hour. At the Heart Tongue Farm in Preston, I got Curtis gonna load me up some corn. Uh, we're gonna put two scoops in here, then put two round bales in, and then we'll go from there. We do this about once a week. We have 46 cows up in Bellevue. It's about 32 degrees down here. It's a little windy. Everything's looking good down here. So we'll shut her off until he comes back and then we'll get the rest of it loaded up. Here he comes with my second load. Corn. He'll dump this in here. This 
there's going to be 46 cows up in Bellevue. We're going to be awful happy here in about an hour. Let me get this up there. Now we'll put two round bales in it. Okay, skid loader. Now he's going to switch tractors. A little chilly. You see, I put a heavier coat on. But lots of snow here in Clinton County. Lots of ice. Be careful. This is a bad time because cows like to slip on the ice, and that's not good because they can break legs very easy in this stuff here. gonna pick that other one up there's wrap on that one there so we'll have to cut that wrap off I gotta get my knife out so got the big blue no holland loader all the stuff I bought there loaded up the second bale as you can see we have two buckets of corn two round bales now we head back up into Bellevue, check the tires, make sure they're okay, they look like they are. You know, it's going to take us about a half hour to get back up to Bellevue. Anything to say today, Curtis? Beautiful oh, day. Beautiful day. You want to help me do chores today or what? You got chores to do? Dad's got best for me. I just met him going to town in the van. Signing off, Hartung Family Farms. Don't forget, push that like button. Subscribe. Any comments, concerns, go ahead and write them in and Ron will take care of that. With that, have a great day. Ta-ta for now. Okay, we're back in Bellevue. As you can see, I got the hay behind me. I'm gonna go in and feed these cows. You can see they're hungry. So they're coming. Down into here. They want this hay and corn. So, we'll get it down here, get it parked. They don't want to get out of the way too good. But they're gonna go. They're hungry. There's old 12-er. Bass. You can see they're hungry. I can get out of here without getting stuck. So they'll feast for a while. And they can eat. But they'll be happy for a couple days. Life is good for 46 cows down here in the bottom up in beautiful Jackson County. So with that being said, Hard Tongue Family Farms, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe. With that being said, have a great weekend. Ta-ta for now. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to Hard Tongue Family Farms. Today is Wednesday, the 29th of January. A year ago, it was about 18 below zero with a windshield of about 40 below. And tomorrow was a real cold day. It was about 25 below with a windshield about 65 below zero. And it was cold. Well, today's not so bad. Today, it's about 30 degrees, no wind. I'm out going checking on cows, as you can see. Jackson County still is snow covered. We don't have too much. We got about five inches on the ground probably, give or take a little bit. But my cow dog, which is Bella, we're going out to check cows. Okay, I'm back. About here, this is called Little Mill Creek Fishing Hole, the DNR. 
stocks this trout pond out here, this stream. Uh, we have 46 cows out here. If you remember a couple weeks ago, we started with 47, but we had one leave us. Um, but they all look pretty content. Tomorrow I'll grab the hay wagon and we will move those hay wagon. I'm going to go down to Preston again and get some feed. A couple round bales. As you can see the round bale feeder right there is empty. Good trout fishing up here. Lots of livestock running around as you can see. Like I said a couple weeks ago we had that cow that was deceased on us. We found him up in the field. Well today we need to get it out of there. So the rendering truck can come pick it up because they come on Thursdays. So that's my job today. We'll get him picked up and get him down to the road so they can get him picked up. That being said, don't forget to push that like button. Subscribe. Any comments, concerns, let us know and we'll answer them as soon as we can. With that being said, ta-ta for now. Okay, the Bud Man is back. Like I said before, it's a gorgeous day. I'll give you a little scenery tour quick. There's the home place. Uh-oh, there it is. There's old cow number 31. We had to bring him way over from that field, way over there in the distance. Brought him up over through the field, down the road, and we put him right here. Uh, Darlene's out of Clinton. We'll come pick him up tomorrow. I have to leave some paperwork and a check with them. It's 58 bucks to pick these cows up. So, neighbor farmer, we always talk and they say, always say, if you have livestock, eventually you'll have dead stock. So, thank God it doesn't happen a lot. But as you can see, once in a while, we do get one. So, that's Mother Nature taking its course. So, I'll give you a picture of Bella. Hi, Bella. Hi. So I'll attach the paperwork to the cow and they'll come pick him up hopefully tomorrow and we'll go from there. Life goes on. So still pretty icy out here. But with that being said, we're going to end it for the day. Once again, this is the Bud Man signing off. Don't forget, push that like button, subscribe button, and enjoy your day. Ta-ta for now.